Hello. Guess what's happening now? You're looking at two wafters. You've seen this wafter. But what about this one? We've got a new one in the family. This is Andrew's new car. Now, you obviously don't know what a wafter is, do you? <laughs> Let me take you through it. Open up your ears. A wafter is something that you can simply go around the A38, just wafting along. And I really mean wafting along. I mean in, in luxurious comfort. And you need heated leather seats. You need climate control. You need cruise control. You need everything. Everything a car can have. It has to have it. It has to. It really does. It has to be Tory. And these two, well, perfect examples of that. Not bad cars at all. We've got, what is this one? 07? And then 05? Is it 05? It's no 05. Yes. I couldn't remember. These cars simply go up and down the motorway like like butter, like knife through butter. It's, it's, it's splendid, it's, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And this one is new to the family. You've seen this one, like I said. This is a very similar spec to the Volvo. It's a different sort of car, but a very similar one at that. As in, it's a wafter, it's a wafter, my boy. It will absolutely decimate mileage. We've done hundreds of miles in them, and they are just absolutely 100% waft. Now, if you don't have a wafter, and you're thinking about getting a wafter, you might want to look at this video because this video will sort of highlight what you can really get out of a waft. Um, now, these cars, as much as they're the same, they're a bit different. So this one is big, bulky, not very good on fuel, and Swedish parts, which are very expensive. Now this one, she's not old, oh, it's old, she's not that old, she's a Volkswagen. Good price on parts, really good on fuel, and just a generally nice, well put together car. Now. I've spent a little bit of time in this car, but Andy, behind the camera, if he wants to have a little flick around. Oh, hello, 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 hello. So he's uh, he's obviously bought the car, he's spent some time with it. How long have you had it, Andy? Probably uh, I've had a couple of months. Three, three yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, why don't you just tell tell the audience what you think of the car? Oh, it's so off to from top to bottom. Look at there. Oh, look at the chrome. Oh my god. Got chrome all around. You know how it is. You got the. Uh, you got the high profile tyres, or is it? Yeah, high profile tyres, no, not low profile, profile tyres. tyres. Uh, yeah, yeah good, that's for good. ultimate cushioning, cushioning. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Open the door, and you have floodlights. Oh, very nice, very nice all around. You've got the uh, the leather seats. Accept the leather seats, Andy. Accept the leather seats. Let's like, really look into this interior. So, as we can see, you've got a nice bolster there to keep you in place. Nothing too much, just nice and comfy. You know, really grabs you and takes you down the motorway in a wafting style. You got a nice armrest, which is a good feature, obviously. A bit of a storage room in there. Uh, nice five-speed box. They do do a six-speed, but this one's this one's a five. What a PD one? PD one hundred, sir. Yes, sir. I was say no. Uh, what else we got? We got a nice stop down uh, center console, which is quite rare. A lot of people just change them. I like this one because it's stock and it's nice. It's everything it needs to be. You can see the waft seats there. So we got waft one and waft two. Uh, when I say waft, I mean heated, obviously. You know, get real, get with the picture. The dash in these, I, I've got to show you the dash. They're so That's it's classic, it. it's lovely. So we're going to just take around. Oh, by the way, by the way, now we're here. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Solid, seriously solid. Well built Volkswagen. I very much enjoy that. Now I'm going to take you to the Volvo in a minute and I'll do a similar thing, alright? Just come around there, would you? Why don't you just peer in there and have a nice little look at those clocks. Really nice chrome accents on them. Not sure you'd pick that up at night, but it's very nice and they are just pleasant, you know? I would describe this car as pleasant, you know? You, you think of a car, you think, you know, you get yourself you know, a new Ford. And it's all very nice and new, but it, it's, it's tacky, you know? It's tacky. It doesn't really, you know, everything feels sort of nasty. This thing, just well built, you know, proper solid doors, no rust after 15 years of use. Very good condition. This thing is in impeccable condition. I mean, she's running 77,000 miles, which is, phew, that's not much, is it, really? I mean, the Volvo over there, 180, 180,000 is newer. So this thing is in seriously good condition. Full service history, you know the lot. I can't see this thing ever really letting go on Andy, because, uh, well, you, you remember the Seat, she... Uh, yeah, we were, whoa. we had a send-off. Well. She did well. I'll have a, well. a five-second story in the set, right? So you know the set well. Um, she did, she did us a good job. Um, she actually sold in the end uh, after she had a few problems. Um, out ran the police from the last, uh, the, the previous, uh, sorry, the, the current owner. Uh, so 240,000 miles, still out ran the police. Very impressive. So, I think the moral of the story is if you're going to get a nice car, get a PD 130. They do you well. PD 130 Leo, my friend. Good car.
can do the police and it can also get you to work. Not bad. Not bad car. So anything else about this car that I'd like to describe it? Uh, describe? What do I mean describe? <laughs> Forget it. We'll go in the boot. Lovely noise by the way when you open that boot. Very solid. So we go up. Easy. See? It does it itself. New cars do that. This thing does it. Yeah? Massive boot. I mean... Getting there, am I allowed to get in there? Yeah, you get in there. You, you can get, get in there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you know in our videos, we like to um, uh, we like to get in there. I'm not going to put my feet in because she's that clean. But you can see that me and probably six other know, children, I six goats, we can probably get in there. Um, I don't know the literage of this boot as uh, they describe in the brochure, but we don't read the brochure, do we? So nice little light back here as well, which that doesn't work. That's one of the very few things in the car that actually doesn't work. So, uh, thanks for bringing that up, but, uh... <laughs> I am so sorry. I thought that worked. Simply bulb! It's just a bulb! It's 15 years old! Come on! Get over it! But as you can see, the... Uh, oh, point, I think we're going to get arrested. Very nice! Doing a good job. Well done to the police. Working, working. Oh, apparently they've... They've had a call that, uh... A wafter has been used for a non wafts use. That's not allowed. Very much legal. So, um, as you can see, I, I, I could literally sleep in it, you know, if I needed to. Um, same goes with the Volvo, very big boots. Um, what I'd like to tell everyone in the world is if you haven't had an estate yet, then why haven't you had an estate and you need to get one? I always told Adam to get an estate, no, look, you're estate. Very useful cars. Very, very useful, very, very useful. useful. You can pile as much crap as you want in the back and you still have room to sit down. So, you know. All good and well having a coupe or a saloon or whatever, but an estate, you could just you just do what you want with it, lad. You just absolutely do what you want. And I just find it so useful. I think an estate adds to the waft. I feel like having an estate you've got the extra room. Yeah, we're all basically longer, I think. Yeah, it's it's just it's just sublime. It just adds it's sub it's sublime, you can put all your stuff, like I said, and you still have comfort and, and the leg room is just rude, man. <laughs> sorry. Oh sorry, no worries. I just gotta say about I mean ignore the um Ignore all the paper. On yeah, the ignore the paper, so. but Go on, jump this on seat, in. This seat is perfectly far enough back for a, a, an adult. And when I get in there, look at that leg room. You know? What, where else are you going to get that? Eh? Well, it's, you know, that. But other than that, where else are you going to get that? Nowhere. Eh? Look at that. No, you, you have to get a brand new car. You didn't get that. You know? Fucking new car, you? So I just think this is fantastic. I mean, we, we did a trip to uh, Switzerland once in a, an Octavia, which was. It was hard work. But in this thing, easy. These seats are very comfy as well. I mean, I don't know if you've ever sat in the back of a sat, but oh God, you know, waft. And this is what we mean by waft, right? This is what we mean, the core aspects of waft. You sit here and you almost waft into the seat. You just, oh, oh, I'm in, I'm in London. Oh, oh, what happened, you know? Two hours, gone, gone, forget it. Yeah, I could sit here all day, love it. Absolutely love it. Now we're gonna move out from this one. And let me just tell you something. I think a car, a good wafter is a good, you just heard that, solid door, yeah? And I think with the Volvo, it's it's almost G-Wagon-ish, you know? It's a Swedish G-Wagon. You, you listen to the door. Let's get him around, let's get him around. I don't know if you're going to hear this, but... Oh, it's oh. getting quite close. We're going to edit that out. Listen. Oh, it's just solid, you know? It's just a really well put together car. You look at the uh, quite nice features is you're not going to see it from there. SIPS which is side impact protection system. Very good. You got curtain airbags up here. You got everything. So you are, I mean I feel safe in this car. If I'm going along I feel safe. And let me tell you this weekend, last sorry this weekend God, I went to Newcastle for a drift event towing bloody near, near enough two tons on the back. I went to Snowdonia which, by the way, both of those journeys, that's a long way. So this Newcastle was six hours, and Snowdonia is about five. I felt completely fine. I got out, you know, I, I did this, spring chicken. You know, going along, five hours, wafting along. Oh my God, I'm so comfy now. I, turn it off, because I want to, oh, it's so good. And I got out, five hours, thought, so, right, back to work. You know, whilst you're all doing niche, I'm in here making moves, all right? Because I can make moves in here, because I'm perfectly awake. This yeah, is why I can do this video. No one likes the Volvo, we've, we've discussed this. We've got 11 dislikes, all right? For all these people saying... Oh, of course. Not if you actually like it, do you? Well, well, maybe I've got my facts wrong again, all right? Don't bother. Forget it. Free content, disliking, 
He's not happy. And I will waft away from that, alright? I will. I'm not having it. Any more than 10 on this video, forget it. I'll sell the rest. I'll sell it. Forget it, you know? So, uh, 50, di 50 dislikes? I want 50 dislikes. <laughs> if we can get, I reckon if, if you guys can reach out with your finger, just dab it. If we can get 50 likes, I reckon. If we get 50 likes, then we will do, I think we'll end up doing some sort of road trip for you. We'll, we'll, you suggest in the comments what you want. I think it's some sort of crazy waft road trip. And there's got to be a waft road trip. Right? Scotland and back one night. Let's one, go. Yeah, Chase's son. Do you want to see Chase's son? You want to see Chase's son? Free content, free Chase's... content. Free content, it's costing me money, it's costing him money, but it's costing you niche. But you're going to get it for free because you press that little like button. So if you manage that, then you will see some serious content. And you want that, don't you? You want that. Okay? We'll see you soon.